Hi, welcome to our Famous in America channel. In today's video, we're going to remember some irreplaceable talents in the entertainment world that have unfortunately left us today and in the last few days. But before starting this journey of great tributes, we would be deeply happy if you could leave your like and enjoy this video, because this small but very important gesture helps us a lot to continue sharing these simple tributes with all of you. Check out today's honorees. Number 1. Tony Bennett The main tribute goes to the music icon, Tony Bennett, who passed away today, July 21, 2023. We made a special video for the singer where we talk about his successful career. The link is in the description of this video. Be sure to watch. Number 2, Baby Asher. Asher, the 15-month-old, son of influencer Christine Tran Ferguson and her husband Ryan Ferguson, died after fighting for his life in intensive care earlier this month. The travel influencer behind the popular tour de lust blog took the loss of her son to her social media on July 20, 2023. Ferguson ended her post by saying that she is still not sure what caused Asher's death. He asked for privacy during this difficult time and informed that he is still in shock and has no answers for this unbearable nightmare. Ferguson has over 512,000 followers on Instagram and over 274,000 on TikTok. She founded a popular website called Tour de Lust, where she shares her adventures and travel tips. Our sincerest condolences to Christine and Ryan, may God comfort your hearts and may you find peace to move forward. Number 3, Patricia Terry Holland. American educator, author, and religious leader, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Patricia Terry Holland passed away on July 20, 2023 at age 81. Patricia was a counselor in the church's Young Women General Presidency from 1984 to 1986. From 1980 to 1989, Holland was First Lady of Brigham Young University BYU, where her husband, Jeffrey R. Holland, was president of the institution. In 2000, Holland published the book A Quiet Heart, about responding to chaos. This book won the Association for Mormon Letters Award in 2000 for devotional literature. His life was devoted to contributions to his family, his church, and his community. Number 4, Luis Giraldo. Jockey Luis Giraldo Carrasquillo, winner of 14 Puerto Rican Riding Classics, died this Thursday, July 29, 2023, at the age of 31 from still undetermined causes and under circumstances under investigation. According to the police report, a call through the 911 emergency system alerted to a medical case in Urbana Zaqueo Brisas, in the Puerto Rican municipality of Canavanas. Upon arriving at the scene, the agents found Hiroldo's body, which showed no signs of violence. There is information that the jockey suffered from health problems, although not specified, and that he was using medication to treat these ailments. In his career, he accumulated 1,118 wins in 6,506 mounts between Puerto Rico and the United States. Number 5, Bill Getty. William Frederick Getty, better known as Bill Getty, died on July 20, 2023 at the age of 68, the cause of his death it is suspected was due to factors related to the coronary artery. Getty was an American television producer, best known for co-creating and executive producing ABC Daytime's The View on the ABC television network. He was also Barbara Walters' longtime partner at Barwall Productions and was responsible for co-producing popular American television shows such as the Barbara Walters Special and the 10 Most Fascinating People Annual Special. Bill Getty also owned May Avenue Productions. Number 6, Josephine Chaplin. Actress Josephine Chaplin, daughter of Charlie Chaplin and Una O'Neill, died aged 74 on July 13 in Paris. Josephine was an accomplished actress in her own right, and began her career in one of her father's last films, Limelight, 1952, playing a child who appears in the opening scene. She was one of five daughters of the director featured in the somewhat autobiographical project. She also appeared briefly in her father's last film, A Countess from Hong Kong, 1967, along with sisters Geraldine and Victoria. 
Her first major role was for another iconic director, Pier Paolo Pasolini, in his 1972 version of The Canterbury Tales, where Chaplin plays May, the adulterous wife of the elderly Sir January in The Merchant's Tale. Also in 1972, Chaplin starred opposite Lawrence Harvey in Menahem Golan's Escape to the Sun. From there her career took off and she followed with Georges Franju's Newt's Rouges in 1974, Jack the Ripper opposite Klaus Kinski in 1976, The Bay Boy opposite Liv Ullman and, in her screen debut, Kiefer Sutherland in 1984 and Claude Chabrol's Capo Vin in 1985. Josephine Chaplin is survived by three children, Julian Ronette, by the late French actor Maurice Ronette. Charlie, son of Greek furrier Nicolas Sistavaris and Arthur son of French archaeologist Jean-Claude Garden. Our video ends here and if you liked it and think this video has value, please share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much, have a great weekend.